Hi, this is Chris from Needlepointers.com. Did you know that you can machine embroider directly onto cardstock and make your own greeting cards? This is a fun project to make, and you can make your own custom greeting cards for to send out for your friends and family. The patterns that I use for this project is from Smith. Smith Street Designs and it's their Greetings Collection 2. They also have a couple other collections. This is the Collection 3. As you can see there's quite a few designs in each of the packages. These designs include machine embroidering onto the pattern and also appliqueing down different fabrics. So you can customize these for the person you're sending it to or, you know, and use up some of the fabric scraps that you have laying around. It's a fun project to make and they're pretty quick. Most of them are only a few minutes of stitching. This one was nine minutes to stitch out the whole thing, but like this one is only four minutes. And the same, and the same with this one. It was about four minutes to stitch out. So they're a pretty quick project to do and I will take you through how you make these. There are written instructions included with the patterns, but I found that it was a little bit complicated in the very beginning until you get the, the steps down. So I thought I'd show you some of the steps of this project and uh, to take you through at least making one of them to give you an idea how it works. This is one of the finished cards that after it's been embroidered, and you can see on the back the embroidery and you use some cutaway stabilizer on the back. Then you cut this away and trim it and then you cut a piece of scrapbook paper to cover up the back. If you'd like to make this project please click the i-card or the link in the description of this video to visit our website needlepointers.com on the page, it will have a complete step-by-step -step photo tutorial of the project. It will also have links near the end of the article for where you can buy the CDs, the CD collection of embroideries that I'm demonstrating to make these cards. I will also include a link for other patterns that you can embroider on greeting cards. The two patterns that I'll be demonstrating have hotfix crystals on them, so I'll show you how to do those in my demo. This pattern was a little bit different because it has a ribbon on it, and but this was very simple to do. You just cut a piece of ribbon to the length that the, the directions say, and it stitches a placement line where you can place the center of the ribbon over the placement area, and then kind of hold it down or tack it down with some tape or some lightly with some tape or something. I just held it farther away from where it was going to stitch on each side and then it tacks it down in the middle and then you simply tie it. The first step in the project is to create your appliques for of the fabric pieces. To do this you have a few choices included with the pattern design up pattern instruction sheet there are cutouts on here. So you can use your light box and trace the patterns onto a piece of heat and bond. This is heat and bond light and it works perfectly for this project and I cut it and so you could lay this on your light box and trace through all of your patterns. But Included in the on the CD with the patterns for the designs for your embroidery machine, it also includes PDF printouts for each of the appliques for the different cards. If you'd like to do the printout, you will need to put your heat and bond through your printer. To do this, Get a piece of cardstock, P 
paper and spray it lightly with temporary adhesive. I sprayed it kind of a lot the first time and when I tried to pull the heat and bond off it kind of pulled it pulled the heat and bond away from its top paper. But you can use the same piece of cardstock multiple times because it stays a little bit sticky enough to run it through your printer. So cut a piece of heat of your heat and bond light to be the same size as your cardstock. And then place your heat and bond with the shiny side down and the paper side up onto the sticky side of the cardstock. Stick the, this into your printer in the direction where it, when it comes out your printer, the printing will go onto the heat and bond paper. So I will take this to my printer and print one of the PDFs for a pattern. So here's a sample of one of the PDFs printed onto the back or the paper side of my heat and bond. So there's the heat and bond and here's the paper side and I fed it through my printer but I didn't feed it through just like this. Here's one that I printed that's on the paper backing. So this and then once it's printed it'll peel off. So this part project is really perfect for using up some scraps or using up charm squares blocks in a certain line of fabric. So I have a couple, I've been using these charm square blocks, which is this one's dots or something. I forget what the name of the line is. And then I had this other charm squares that I thought would work well for this project. So for this one, it's the Easter chick and there's Easter chick pink, it says, and then Easter chick yellow and the beak. And this one sheet of paper will make, has enough of the, the appliques to make eight cards. And it says on the top here, it says makes eight cards. So I've picked out a few fabrics for my Easter chick. And I'm going to use a couple different combinations. This orange I'm going to use for all the beaks, since it's the most orange in my pattern. And I think I will do um, four in this pink, pink dots, and four in this pink dots. And for the top, for the chick itself, I'm going to use these two fabrics. So to do this, I will cut apart my heat and bond print appliques. Just roughly print, cut them apart. Iron to the back of the fabrics these appliques. So here you can see I've adhered the heat and bond to the fabric, the fabrics that I chose. The next step is to cut out the appliques along the line, the cutting lines, on each of the printouts. So here's the three appliques I need for the balloon card and the three appliques I need for the Easter chick. This is a pack of the greeting cards that I purchased and these are just available in multi-pack. As you can see this one has 50 in the whole pack and it includes the greeting cards and the envelopes. So we will be stitching directly on this paper to make our greeting card. So I'm going to go over to the embroidery machine and show you how it's done. To start the machine embroidery, load the pattern that you would like to stitch into your embroidery machine. Hoop some cutaway stabilizer into your hoop. At this point, you can have any color thread threaded in the top. The first step stitches a line around the outside which shows where to place the card stock for your card. Okay, 
Remove the hoop from the machine carefully. The cardstock is creased to show where to fold it. So I can fold the cardstock on the line. Then open the cardstock and you want to put the side that you want to have your the right side facing up of the cardstock and place it down so that the extra the back of the card is to the left. You'll be using temporary spray adhesive. This is one of my favorites to adhere the card down to the stabilizer and it'll be within the line. So you see the line is there. So I am putting the card so it's lined up. Just I'm going to put it just inside, you know, so it covers up the line. Sort of like that. So lightly spray the back of the front side of the card, the side that's going to be on the right, with your temporary spray adhesive, and then put it on into your hoop, like so. Take your hoop and put it back into your machine. Thread your machine with the next color for the next stitching to happen. For this card, it's going to stitch the happy birthday next. And start to stitch onto your card. As you can see, the happy birthday has been embroidered on the card. The next step is the placement lines for the balloons. So for the placement line of the balloons or the placement line of any of the applique, you would normally want to stitch with a white or a thread that matches your color of your card. I am going to stitch it in green so that you can see it because the white blends in too much on the camera. Okay, so I have my three appliques and they they still have the backing on them. So peel the backing off of the heat and bond. So you have the heat and bond exposed and then place them down on your card where you want them to be. I also see that there's several stitching lines that didn't get cut so we need to um, trim those first. So for this the stitching is not complete so I still keep it in my hoop and it's just one of the steps is to adhere this down and you adhere them down so that they cover up the stitching lines entirely so that you don't see the stitching lines. So I am using my small iron, I have a little baby iron that is perfect for this, to adhere this down because you need to be able to fit your iron inside. And just adhere it using the instructions but usually it's like 5 to 10 seconds on high. And then you can check to see if, see that one's not quite adhered down, and neither is that. So I will do it a little bit longer. So next we go back to the embroidery machine and embroider the next step. The next step is the balloon strings. So I stitched the last two steps in the embroidery pattern, and that was for the the strings for the balloons and this last step was for the positioning of the hotfix crystals. 
The hotfix crystals are an optional thing, so if you don't want to do the crystals, then just um, skip the last step and take your project out without stitching that one. For this card, the last step is to fix the crystals. So I found the, I have these hot fix glass crystals. They have glue on the back side of the crystals and I have this glue gun, or I have this crystal affixing gun and you just put that over top for 15 or so seconds. Oh, that was done in 10 seconds. And this card is finished um, being stitched, so I can pop it out now. So I'm going to show you how I stitched the second card steps, and then we'll finish both of the cards at the end. Okay, for this Easter Chick card, it's a total of six minutes of stitching on my machine. I've already stitched the outline and place the card since that is the same for all step for all cards. The first step it's going to stitch is the Happy Easter text. Okay, I continued on and I stitched the next few steps. So I stitched the Happy Easter, the feathers, the grass, and then the outline, the placement lines for the egg and the and the chick. I have my fabrics which were cut out with the templates and I remove the paper backing from the templates. The instructions say to fuse the chick first. So be sure to follow the steps in the instructions so you make sure that you put the items that you do everything in the correct order. And iron it down five to ten seconds. Okay, so those steps are done. Next I'll go back to stitch the next stitches. Alright, so I stitched the eyes and the placement line for the nose. The next step I'm going to stick the nose and iron that down. And the last step for this card is to add the jewels. Again, these are optional. There wasn't separate placement steps for the jewels this time. They just get put on the ends of the feathers here. And then in the grass. So the jewels are applied to the feathers now and I'll continue and finish applying the jewels to the grass and then I'll show you how to finish the card so it looks nice and finished. Okay, so we're almost done with this project with these two cards. Once you get going on these, you can get them done pretty quickly. So the next step is to cut off the cutaway stabilizer from the back. So I, really, I fold it and crease it a little bit so then I can cut it off. And you also want to trim off the stray threads on the back just to clean it up a bit. Okay, so there's the back cleaned up. So find a piece of scrapbook paper that you like. This will just get taped with double stick tape to the back side to cover up the stitching. So I put double stick tape along each edge. Like so. And then center it on the back of the card. Finally, I fold the card in the proper direction. And I have a finished card. Happy birthday. 
which I can write whatever message I want on the inside. And I have envelopes which came in the package to put the uh, card in. And here's my finished happy birthday and happy Easter cards. And the inside of the Easter one is the same. You can pick any scrapbook paper to put on the inside. I hope you enjoyed learning how to stitch directly on cardstock with your embroidery machine. I think these will be a fun project to make and I'll be looking forward to sending some of these to family and friends for the holidays and to tell them that I'm thinking of them. If you like this project, please click the like button or write a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss any new videos. Also, visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other machine embroidery projects and tutorials.